Yes, please. So. Uh, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna ask you a couple of questions about them. Okay. All right. So where? Rwanda. Uh, sure. Yeah. Or I can just like. like... Yeah, you could do that. Okay, I'll do this. Uh, can you please uh, tell us your name and uh, what do you do? What do I do? Yes. Like, as a Hamilton player or as a profession? Uh, both. Okay. All right. So my name is Danielle Daskalakis, and I'm a professional handball player, but I'm also a teacher. What are you holding? Uh, so this weekend was the small ball nationals, and I won. I slammed the women's pro singles and doubles, so I'm very happy. It's been a while since it's been around, and I think I won the last one too, but it's nice to win again. How does it feel to slam it, like winning uh, and slamming it? It feels nostalgic, right? Because this is my, one of the first tournaments that I started joining when I first started playing handball. So winning is always like, it's a really good feeling. Um, but winning against, you know, like Sandy and, and Tracy, is even better because they are also national champions. So knowing the number of titles they have and then trying to like compete and then try to apply to beat them overall is nice. I know it's I know it's a big list, but what is your like, what, what, like what your did title? I win? Yeah, a lot. I mean, I so. Is there anything missing? Yes, um, I need a four wall national double title and. Um, Worlds, small ball, singles and doubles, and four wall worlds, singles and doubles. But everything else I have, four wall national singles, three wall national singles, one wall national singles, one wall national singles, big ball, worlds, big ball, singles and doubles, and now I need doubles. How did you like today's tournament? It, I mean, I like that it didn't rain, that we didn't have to worry about the rain and wait around, so that was good, the weather was nice, it was really hot. Uh, I didn't like that so much. It was very like constantly like getting a water break, wipes. I never sweat and I sweat so much today. And this is like my fourth shirt and it's not even a handball shirt. So it was, I mean, it was fun though. I like the weather enough for this. So now it's very nice. I feel the breeze and I'm ready to go drink <laughs> and celebrate. I think it's your second Billie Eilish shirt. Are you a Billie Eilish yeah. fan? <laughs> is this my second one? Oh, uh, yeah, I think. Oh, I did wear the. the Crew neck and the other one. I am a Billy Eilish fan, yeah. I like a lot of music, but I don't know, I have a bunch of her stuff. But I think everybody knows, so I always get, if they give me a gift, I always get a Billy Eilish shirt. So that's why I have so many. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you like? What else do you do? What else do I what? You like, what else do you like? What um, else do you do? I travel a lot. I like to go to different places that are like fun and have good food. And um, the beaches, I really like California, uh, ceviche. I play a lot of sports because I teach phys ed. Um, so right now I'm really into spike ball as another sport. Into what? Spike ball. That's pretty fun. It's like kind of like handball and volleyball combined. So it's like nice because like it is handball, but like no, it's not, right? So it's like a good break from handball. But I work out a lot too, so I think that's also a good break. Yeah. Uh, what are your wishes? What would you like to see for the women in handball and for the sport? Uh, bigger brackets and more money. I think more recognition. For the women to, like uh, you know the women that do play I think would play a lot more and compete in a lot more events if it was acknowledged at the same level as like the men so like having like a ten thousand dollar singles for women I think a lot of women would be training and trying to compete to win that ten thousand dollar prize versus another tournament where you're more competing just because you like handball you love the game right so if we could get more compensation for that I think that would help can you please open the Tell us the secret you've been winning. Uh, what is the average that you you've been getting oh. for the places? Um, so I don't know. So I play I play in the winter time a lot of four wall, mm -hmm. and last year I played a lot of three wall. So uh, I've been doing pretty well in the four wall and three wall. Uh, the Irish are pretty good in four wall. So now that the Irish have come back more to the states, it's a lot harder to win the four wall. The three wall I feel like I'm very good at. Because uh, it's like a combination of four wall and one wall, so and I have like a strong arm, which I think you need for three wall. So I like playing that a lot. Um, I have a pretty good win rate, maybe not as high as I would like, but I don't know like, the exact number because I just play so often. I don't even know how many tournaments I play in a year. Um, I'm sorry, you misunderstood me. Uh, one more time about actually how much you get paid for the first place usually oh. by coverage. Uh, so you get paid 
usually a lot more in three wall and four wall. Mm -hmm. You get at least a thousand plus, right? So even if you win, you know, fifth place or fourth place, you can make five hundred dollars, which is like for women that's pretty good because that's like first place for like you know one wall. But in one wall, um, maybe you make like five hundred tournament if if you win the whole thing and you win the doubles and the singles but not a, not really the best it's more like you compete because you're competitive and you're passionate about the sport but in in four wall i've made a couple thousand that i have to like pay off in taxes a year so it's pretty nice to see at the end yeah there used to be really good big ball tournaments big ball one wall in california in the simple green and in vegas that had a lot of good prize money like i think it was five thousand uh but though we don't have those tournaments anymore Is there anything else would you like to add to people that follow you, to, you know, young, de young generation to, you know, handball community? Is there anything else that you would like to add? Um, I would say to the, to the young handball community, just practice, right? Practice, show passion for what you're doing. Don't just join a tournament. Um, because your friends are doing it like that's fun and all but like if you want to compete like give it all don't be your like don't be afraid to show that you're actually trying that you want to win but i think a lot of like young people now when i see them play if they're losing they kind of just start giving up because they don't want to look like they're trying anymore it's like uncool that they're trying but, so i would say you know, put your heart into it because like if you try that makes it uh you're a winner either way thank you very much yeah? okay <laughs> good luck to you good all right.